And welcome back to Tech Tuesday. So this is the part two episode of the attack plan. Hopefully you've had a chance to pick up a copy of Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I cannot recommend this book enough. Uh, came out in 1989. I, I got it a little bit later than that. Uh, and it has been the framework for all the planning and personal growth that I get done around here. It's just it's just a great book. So the planner that I use comes from this book and uh, I'll show you how I use that and how hopefully it can help you kind of figure out where you're going, what you want to get done and the best way to get that done. All right, let's switch over and uh, yeah, we'll get going. Okay, when I tell you my copy is, I use this book a lot. <laughs> I really use this book a lot and this isn't even my first copy. I think this is probably my my third copy of this, and I got it on uh, uh, audio as well. So I was listening to it in the car. It's a really solid plan and I love it a lot. So let me show you the planner out of it since that's what we're here for. And this is what we got. So this is the planner that I use every week. And there are two versions of this that I use and I'll kind of explain why in a second. I thought about doing a big PowerPoint for this. Uh, however, you know what? I hand write these every week. So I thought that, you know, I would just show you exactly how I do it instead of having a, you know, kind of a slick PowerPoint with um, all the fields being entered basically in, in the spreadsheet. But that's not the way I do it. So I figured I'd just show you the, the way that I do it. So it's broken down in, in a few different sections. The most important section is a section right here. We talked about this last week. These are your roles. So these are the things that are most important to you. The, uh, the roles, for instance, for me, actually let me show you my sheet from this week. That would be better, wouldn't it? Get you guys in closer to when we need to. Okay, so here is my sheet from this week. And what I do is I have two of these actually, one that's for my personal life and then the one that's for my art. And I find it's easier, even though they're both really tied together, I find it easier for planning purposes if I have specific my specific roles on one sheet for for one part of my life, and uh, the the other roles for for my personal side, and then what I do is with the actual planning part of it, those that's where everything kind of blends together, and I'll show you that. But anyway, what I do in my artwork is there are really three big roles that I have, and that's the administration role which is all the business part of, of running, running the business, essentially running Steve Leahy art. Then there's the production, which is, this is me, the artist. This is the things I need to get done on the art front. And then finally is promotion. And that's what gets all this stuff out there. So those are my three main goals. And those are always my three main goals when I'm working. Uh, there are, you know, some other random things, but generally what happens is anything that I need to have done will fall into one of those three categories. So this is really great. Right off the bat, by kind of identifying those roles and putting them down, it keeps balance in, in what I do every week. Really, all I want to do is this one right here. <laughs> all I want to do is paint, but I can't do that if I want to run a business. I have to do the other two. If I don't, then, you know, it'll be great. I'll have a bunch of paintings that no one will ever see. So those, having all three of those kind of always there will help me keep balance throughout the week. Generally, I love to pick three goals for each role. So that's why there are three sections here. So in, for this week, I have to work on expenses, which is inputting receipts for taxes, things like that. That's what, what expenses is. The next thing I got to do is um, I got to work on my print spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet for all the prints as they as they sell and who they sell to. Uh, so I have to update that because I that's easy for me to let go if I don't write it down. So that can make the list too. And then I'm working on redoing the whole studio. So that is that's on the list too. So by limiting it to three projects, that really helps me get things done as well. If you've ever been overwhelmed with things, Sometimes there are so many things to do, you don't end up doing any of them. So what I do is I pick the three most important things, and that's what I get done for the week. The things that really need the attention, those are the three things. And trust me, if you do only three things for each goal, you will get a lot done. <laughs> you will get a lot done. Just ask yourself now, you know, what are you getting done 
for those roles that you have? What's frustrating, you know, that, that you have this role and you're not getting anything done? And look at what you're actually doing. I guarantee you're not doing three things a week on it. So that's, that's really fun. Now, again, the production side of it is super easy. It's really just a checklist. I love doing the stuff on this list. So I have to get all the online content done for the trip that I have coming up so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I have two two projects that are going on. I have a, a commissioned painting that I have to get done. And then the uh, Model Monday project, I really wanted to have that done by November and I'm not getting much done on it because it's kind of a hobby type of thing, but, but it's also important to me. So I put that on the list so I actually do it. That's how that works. Last thing is promotion. It's the same thing. I have a holiday sale coming up for Christmas season. Uh, I'm working on creating a Discord channel for for the... Uh, for, for members of Patreon and YouTube. And then also I'm always looking for galleries. So those three things get on there. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, the, I put things on here that maybe I'll push aside, like looking for a new gallery or an additional gallery. I love the gallery I'm in and I'm always looking for, you know, other representation in other parts of the country. But that's something that gets pushed aside because it's it's important, but it's not urgent. So if it's if it's not urgent, it doesn't get on the list, and that's bad. So I get it on the list. Okay, so I've got the three things I want to do for each role, and I'm ready to go. The weekly priorities column here, you can use this for different things. What I do is I break down the, the really big projects in my goals list. For instance, Expenses is easy. I just input the receipts and then file them and it's pretty straight ahead. Same thing with print the print spreadsheet. I just have to update it. It's it's one one and done type of thing. The studio rework is completely different. That's a big project. There's a lot going on in there. So what I'll do is I'll take a big, big item here and then I'll break it down into three things that I want to get done on that. And that's what it is. So I got to clear the shelves that I have all my books and stuff on. Um, I have to organize the storage, which is the other side, which has all the shelves. And then I would just want to clean my workbench. If I get those three things done, that's going to be huge for this. And then I don't feel like I didn't, well, I, I won't feel like I didn't do anything. And I'll also make those steps towards getting the huge project done. And that's the same thing with Discord. There's a lot I got to figure out with Discord. So I just broke it down into three categories and also with the gallery. You can't just say, I want a new gallery or I want to get into a gallery. That's there's a lot to that. So I break down into three things that I need to do. For instance, for finding galleries, I usually pick three of them. Three is a big number for me. So um, I pick three galleries, look at them, get all their artists, that kind of thing. Uh, I draft my pitch essentially for each one and then I give myself a due date. So these have to be done by the end of the week. And that's how I get everything done. Now, again, what happens is this will produce an extremely productive week but I didn't break myself. I didn't kill myself doing this. And I also didn't flop around trying to figure out what to do. It's all pretty much laid out and I can just check it off as I go. So the planning side of this over here, I don't use very, very much because for the most part, my schedule is pretty much set. Uh, but if there is something that comes up, like a deadline or something like that, or you know, if I know I wanna get the 543s done early this week, which is on Wednesday, I'll throw that in there because I wanna, clear the weekend. So I make a note to myself here. You can certainly use this this part of it to actually plan everything out. Um, sometimes people work better that way. Like if you know that, okay, I have whatever, I have Wednesday night free. So I'll do my Discord stuff on Wednesday night. You know, that that's what this is for. This is also where I kind of include the personal things that I have to do. The live feeds, I wanna make sure that I'm ready to go for the live feeds as well. So I kind of jot, jot those things down as well in here, but you can go nuts with here with the time and everything. Now, hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you, you want to try it out and get your version of this. Now, I have not found where Covey sells the spreadsheet and the book has been out for so long and I found the spreadsheet online a bunch of times. So what I did on my site was I just uploaded it. There is a, um, a dollar value on it. Essentially, it's up for one dollar, but if you use the code ATTACK, it'll take that dollar off. So you can download this for free. I'm, obviously it's not mine, uh, so I don't take credit for it or anything. And I'm certainly not interested in making any money on it. That's not the point. So when you go to my site, it's on the featured item. Just uh, click on that item and click ATTACK and it will download. You can download the Excel file to get this. And it's Excel, so you can move things around and change things to suit yourself. But, uh, but that'll get you started. 
All right, so there is the spreadsheet. That's the attack spreadsheet, and that's how I kind of go at it. What I'd really love to see you all do, though, is pick up a copy of that book and get into it. It Again, it, it, is, it is monumental. And this part here, the spreadsheet part of it, the planning part of it, comes about halfway through the book. So there is some prep work that you really want to do if you really want to get the most out of it. Uh, the book helps you define those goals, and that's usually the, well, no, not usually, it is the most important part. To know what's most important to you, sometimes you don't even realize it, and that's, and that's what this book really does. It helps you kind of look inside yourself and figure out what's the most important to you and what can you do to bring that out. What's nice is once you've identified those goals and really got them rolling, it helps you to share them with everyone else. It helps you to spread that out and make other people's lives better as well. It's one of the things I really love about the book so much. All right, you have a lot of homework to do. It is the best homework though. It's really gonna make you feel good about what you get done every week and where you're going. So I hope this helps. I hope you got a lot out of it. And that's what I got. All right, so happy Tech Tuesday. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Steve Leahy. If you like this, please like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. You can support me on Patreon and become a member here on YouTube. And that all really, really helps out here. It helps, keeps everything going. All right, thank you. And I will catch you guys next time.